Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo ch channel. My name is Pascal. I put a link in the description where I bought this. Uh, it was uh, pretty much budget uh, and uh, uh, thank you very very much for watching uh, and of course if you like this video or any of our other videos uh, please subscribe because it supports our channel. Today I'm going to do a review of my new 4K screen by Spectre. Uh, this is a budget uh, 4K screen but it's 70 Hz and uh, it doesn't have height adjustment but it has a very good tilt. It's a good height. It's an IPS screen which means it's in plane uh, switching which means you can see it from angle like this, it, uh, you don't lose any of the color. Uh, it's measured at 350 nits brightness, but they have tested it already, several people have tested it, and they've got it up as far as 420 nits. How bright is that? I am going to show you how to assemble it in a moment, but and I'm also, after that, I am going to show you the settings in it, because some people were saying that the screen turns off and I am going to show you how to do the settings for the screen in Windows because Windows overrides uh, the settings of the screen itself. So when you plug in a new screen, uh, Windows will put in new settings. In other words, it will make the screen at 150% based on it because it's a 4K. Because it's 4K, if it wasn't 150, all the text would be tiny and you wouldn't be able to see it. But it also puts on power saving mode. So we will show you how to do that and I will do a screenshot while I am doing that. Uh, also, uh, it comes, I, I will show, uh, I'm going to assemble it now and I'm going to show you the ports on it. And then we will go back and I will show you how to do the settings on it. So, I'm not going to do any unboxing of it, but I'm going to assemble it and tell you exactly what it comes. It comes in a big box like this, look, big box like this, you're not interested. So, uh, it, comes with, it comes with a display port cable. Now, it says on the instructions it doesn't, and this display port cable has the little clips on it. The clips on it here, that, that's for holding it in, so you have to press it to get, take it out. Now, I need a longer one, I have a longer one. This one is only five foot long, so, uh, it, it'll do for most people. If you're not using the stand, it comes with the normal vessel, which is 100 millimeters apart, each of the screws. It also, because this is inset here, it comes with offset ones here. So if you are going to put it onto a stand, for instance, because this is recessed. So the stand goes on pretty easy like this. It just goes in like this and clicks in. But we have to screw on the bottom part. This is made from aluminum. This is metal. So uh, it's, uh, it, it, that's a kind of a little bit of a bonus. So this goes on here like this. And it actually comes with a little screwdriver. Uh, I mean one with a handle on it and a rubber on it, which is unusual. Normally they give you a really bad screwdriver. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it comes with this screwdriver here with rubber end on it. So we just screw this one on here uh, with the four screws. And that's the assemble of it. But before I do that, I am going to show you the connectors on the bottom. So I'm going to turn it around here. That's a protector on the screen there. It's, uh, I've already had this off. So, so we have got two display port 1.4s and we have a HDMI 2.0 two of those also. So the specification that they give you uh, is the old one. The new one, this is the new specification, it's written here. So, uh, so it's a little bit better. So I'm just resting it on top of that and we will put the stand on. And I'll just put them in by hand first and then tighten them up. And the last one, I'm, I'm actually right-handed. I'm doing this with my left hand for you because that's the side I have it on. Uh, so that's basically all the connection. Now, the power supply that comes with it, and it comes with the flex cable. The power supply is multi-voltage. So in other words, if you do decide to move somewhere else or bring it some other country that is 220 or 230 volts, this one will work in there also. And as I said, it comes with the display port cable, even though it says it comes with the HDMI. And uh, the, uh, the display port cable are, are better, of course. So what we're going to do is, as I said, these are the standoffs. 
Now the standoffs are just to go on this so that it will fit if you have two monitors on a stand or you wish to put it on the wall. I'm just going to connect it up to the computer now and then we are going to, uh, I am going to show you the different settings on it and I'm going to explain about it. So we go into a system dis uh, and display, as you see here it has already made it 150. So it's made it, it's recommended 150 and this text is still pretty small. You might want to make it 160 if you're coming from an ordinary uh, HD screen and, and landscape and, and all that. So uh, no, what we will go back then is we will go back to system and we will, uh, we will go to power. Now what happens is when you're setting the power in the screen with the settings over here, it gets overridden by this one. So uh, we'll, go into, uh, we'll go into screen and sleep. And I have it set when plugged in, a device will sleep after 30 minutes. We press the M, you get the menu button. And then we, you have a quick start there. You can tr go through all the settings. And what you do is if you press M again, it will go over here and then you can go down to the presets. You can set the volume. I have the volume at zero because I am using external speakers from the computer. But there is a connector you can connect from this to your speakers as well if you like. And uh, uh, if you want to go back, then you press the E. So the E will bring you back on the menu. And pre your presets are here. So we'll select them. And you have uh, FPS, your standard, user, movie and all these, whichever one you are doing, if you are doing games or you will probably change the one that you are doing. So then we just leave this menu by pressing E a few times and then we're back. So I am so happy with this screen. Yeah, when you're used to the HD screen, full HD screen, uh, and then you go from 4K, everything feels like so, uh, Mm, too clear almost. It takes a couple of days to get used to it. I have this inside for just a week now and I'm used to it now. But for the first day or so, I was playing around with the settings. I found it uh, uh, just too clear and uh, 150, maybe a bit, uh, definitely using, if you were using this at uh, just normal scale of one, uh, it's not, it, it, the text is going to be tiny compared to when you're going from your last high definition screen. I would imagine 160 would be something like the proper ratio. This is a video here I've done of my, <laughs> I'm just playing my own video from before assembling something there on the screen. I'll put a link in the description where I bought this. Uh, it was uh, pretty much budget uh, and uh, uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, and of course, if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe because it supports our channel.